The story of Masquerade is the story of the moon falling in love with the sun. She knows that she can't get to the sun, so she sends her pet hair, Jack Hare, to the sun with an amulet to tell the sun a riddle, and the answer to the riddle is that she loves him. And Jack has to take off on this sort of universal, celestial journey in order to deliver this riddle of love to the sun. The author uh, of the book is Kit Williams, who wrote the book in 1979, and it became a worldwide bestseller because what Kit did was, as well as illustrating and writing this beautiful uh, book, he made, he actually made that amulet and he buried it somewhere in the world and he put the answers to where it was buried in the book in the form of riddles and, um, and hidden clues. Around the time the book was published, I was in hospital in a children's oncology ward um, with cancer and my godmother brought in the book and she put it in my hands and she said, let's read it. And it, it's so vibrant and the, the story within is so unique and odd and funny and deals with universal issues that for a child who was stuck in a, a stark, cold children's um, oncology ward, it was a means of escape for everyone, for me, for my godmother, for my parents. And I dreamed that I'd find the real amulet one day, but I, I got more than that. I got the permission from Kit to turn this into a play. As long as it included my story from being an unwell child and it also was a play that was for nine to 90 year olds. How are you feeling, Joe? Much better. I'll be glad when the sun's up. Likewise. We're gonna find his jaw for him. Do you hear that, sir? My name's Tessa. My son Joe and I are gonna find your lost jewel. To combine this world with the child's oncology ward, you wouldn't think the two would fit together, but through development, we've come up with this play where the two worlds actually fit together beautifully. And Kit, he's even kind of written a scene himself for the play. So there'll be a brand new piece of Kit Williams' work inside the play is like almost a hidden gem. When you get given um, someone's blessing to step into this world, you need a really a good team around you to, to assist with that. And Sam Strong, who at the time was artistic director at Griffin, has backed it all the way. And then, of course, we get our amazing cast and crew from all over the country. So it's a very Australian play, a lot of Australian creatives working on this English book. The characters that we meet are so nutty. They're animals and they're eccentrics and they're flighty women. That so many. And and all at once. This is the sun and the moon. And of course there's Jack Hare, gorgeous little protagonist. Not the kind who gets to rule the jungle. For that you need a quite impressive roar. Meow. Kit Williams is first and foremost a painter. The only text he ever undertook was Masquerade. So I have tried to design alongside his illustrations. They're quite different. The, the world should evoke similar feelings and excitement and magic, but you want to do it justice. You want people to walk away satisfied that what they've seen is as it tickles the eye and the fancy as much as the book does. But everyone deserves to be noticed for the little things they bring into the world. When I was writing, I decided very early on that it was really important that this piece had music to it. I thought, if you know, if we're going to be so crazy as to mix an oncology ward with a world of masquerade, is it? It's not too crazy to bring in this Baltic cabaret band, Michelangelo and the Black Sea Gentlemen, as well. I feel like I'm invisible to all. And it's so charming. It's whimsical and capricious and charming. So I imagine that the audience will find exactly the same once we're in the Opera House. Never in my wildest dreams, you know, on a chemotherapy drip in a Perth cancer ward, did I expect that this book would become such a massive part of my life. In a way, I have the amulet itself, that this whole journey has been the amulet and I get to polish it up and present it to Australia and also say, come and join the ride, come and join the journey because you never know what you might dig up. <laughs>